electromagnetic effects in induction systems. Complicated distributions of magnetic field, induced current and power density, which influence the resulting temperature distribution in the body, may be conveniently described by means of electromagnetic effects, which are the skin effect, as previously described, concentrator effect, proximity effect, end effects, and edge effect of slabs and strips. The concentrator effect. Magnetic flux concentration is one of the types of flux control, which also includes shielding, deviation, or other magnetic field modification. Application of a C-shaped concentrator to coil tubing results in dramatic reduction or elimination of external magnetic field. In higher power in the part under the coil face for the same coil current and in reduction of power outside of the coil face zone. On the other side, the C-shaped concentrator pushes the coil current to its face, reducing the cross-section of current flow. Losses in the coil grow. When a concentrator is properly applied, its benefits overcome this effect. Proximity effect in coil flat body system. Alternating currents of opposite directions tend to flow in the way closest to each other. This phenomena is called proximity effect. Proximity effect is stronger at high frequency and small gap. In a two-bus system, currents of opposite direction flow mainly on the surfaces facing to one another. Induction coil located above the part surface generates eddy currents that tend to flow just under the coil face. Coil geometry controls resulting heat pattern. Concentrators strongly increase proximity effect and additionally help to control heat pattern. End effects in cylindrical induction system, non-magnetic body. Due to end effect of the coil, power in the workpiece drops gradually near the coil end. A flux concentrator can make power distribution more close to rectangular, improving temperature uniformity in required length. End effect of the part is caused by magnetic field distortion near the part end. It may be positive, higher power to the end, or negative, lower power to the end. Negative effect is typical for magnetic parts at low frequency, for example, in tempering process. Positive end effect of the workpiece may be compensated by coil end effect, for example, by proper selection of part position inside of the coil. Negative end effect may be compensated by coil designed and or application of concentrators.